this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum and I'm proud to be representing our absolutely gorgeous one-off custom GMC 3500 Dually flatbed. Um, this is a full custom show truck. It's a full frame up restoration. It took us almost a year to complete and over $20,000 was invested in, in uh, parts and labor. Everything on the truck's brand new. Um, the truck was taken right down to the frame. The flatbed that was on there was removed and discarded. And we built a brand new one. The um, entire nose, the entire front end clip on this is all brand new. Brand new fenders, brand new hood, brand new custom front end. This is all from LMC truck. It's got the custom billet uh, chrome grill, the billet lower with the billet inserts, the um, fog lights, the uh, projector uh, uh, LED blue headlights, and the full billet grill. The hood is a, a two inch cowl induction hood, 5.7 liter Vortec engine. Uh, this is a very, very, very low mile, 65,000 mile original truck that we restored. A good friend of mine who owned a construction company bought this brand new and was his personal driver. For, he was the, shop, the, the site foreman, so he'd drive it around from job site to job site. Uh, low hours, uh, very, very, very little use uh, working, just more or less for transportation. And it's an awesome truck. I can tell you this, we had a brand new Dodge Ram. If you look under Kaplan Cycles YouTube channel, you'll see there's a brand new 2014 Ram 3500 Cummins Turbo Diesel Dually. As far as towing goes, um, this is a, a gas 5.7, so the Cummins was a better towing motor. But as far as the chassis is concerned, this one ton Dually GMC 3500 with a long wheelbase towed as good or better than the brand new Dodge Ram Cummins Turbo Diesel Dually. The, um, the brakes on the truck are all brand new. Uh, being a two-wheel drive truck, it's a little lower to the ground. We haul that 20-foot uh, Featherlight motorcycle hauler with this, full of bikes, six bikes usually. You don't even know the trailer's behind it unless you look in the rear view mirror. This thing's toes amazing. Uh, again, the truck was taken completely down to the frame. The interior was gutted, the entire nose was taken off. The only components left on the chassis when we were done were the front and rear axles, the cab, in the dashboard that was it everything else was taken off and the motor was, was still intact the motor is a low mileage 65,000 mile original small block uh, that didn't need any work at all other than cosmetic cleaning up and repainting and uh, we put some chrome on the engine to dress up the, the, the engine package but the engine's all original and in mint condition the uh, it also has a custom exhaust on it with a, a turbo dynamax super turbo muffler it's got a nice rumble to it um, the paint job, I have the receipts. We, we put over $7,000 into the paint job on it. It's a full show quality custom two-tone paint job with the, the vivid white on the side and, and the, the um, uh, gloss black on the top with the red and silver uh, pinstripe separating it uh, with the chrome mirrors. So uh, the entire nose is brand new. The doors are brand new and the whole cab, there was no rust on this cab whatsoever. The floor, the floor of the truck was treated with a POR15 when the interior was removed. And if you look at the inside of the truck, you'll see um, that door is locked. You grab your keys. The, uh, you'll see the, um, the inside of the truck is in absolutely show quality, mint, 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 mint condition. The um, original seats are in the truck. The, uh, as you can see, uh, it's in mint condition. The, um, this is the original seat back. The, the lower part here was recovered because it had a couple of tears in it. Um, the carpeting is brand new carpeting. It has brand new custom floor mats with the GMC logo and brand new WeatherTech. Uh, uh, I think there's about 150 bucks. These WeatherTech floor mats, they hold like a gallon of water on them for the winter time, I guess. Uh, it's a five speed standard rock crusher transmission. Um, very simple uh, electronics package. Uh, it has Regular roll-up windows, which is a big plus once you get, uh, you know, a classic American truck like this is 22 years old. You don't want power windows because they go bad. And it's a little truck. If you can't lean over and roll up the window, you should, maybe you should be driving a Prius or some little, uh, electric Namby Pamby Pansy car. This is a man's truck, okay? Roll the fucking window down. Be a big boy. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely a man's truck. Uh, this is not, uh, you know, it's not a little sissy truck. This is a full one-ton dually. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome truck. It rides great, shifts great, the engine runs beautifully, and it's got a gorgeous paint job on it. The um, stainless steel uh, rain guards, uh, chrome door handles, chrome mirrors, the smoked LED uh, uh, fog lights or cab lights are all brand new. 
Uh, these are Weston uh, stainless steel Nerf bars on the side of the truck and are in beautiful condition. And if you look at the bottom side of the truck, we'll look at that in a minute. It's like brand new. This was a rotisserie style restoration. It was put up on a lift, turned sideways. The whole bottom of the truck was bicarbonate, sodium blasted. Um, the whole frame was scraped and painted. It was a, a, a two-stage process with a POR 15 base coat and top coat. There's about three coats of the POR paint on, on the undercarriage, so this thing will never rust. These are Eagle Alloy aluminum wheels. New, their new wheels were put on when we restored the truck, and, I, and we upgraded to the stainless steel center caps and the stainless steel lug nuts, so these will never rust. These aren't the cheesy chrome ones. The stainless steel Eagle Alloys, six of them. The um, front of the truck, again, all chrome. If you look underneath the hood, the engine's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it was over $20,000 invested in the restoration of this truck. Um, it's got a, I have the clean title. It's, it's a two-owner truck. My um, the buddy, Pete Lostrom, bought it brand new, uh, put about 65,000 miles on it, and then sold it to one of our employees who is titled under his name right now, Tyler Yergles. Uh, the, um, Obviously, the engine's in absolutely gorgeous condition. It looks like a new motor. It doesn't need anything at all. It's been completely tuned up. New plugs, new plug wires, new fluids, uh, new air filter, brand new Napa top of the line, Legend premium battery. They're rated by um, Consumer Buyer's Guide to be one of the best batteries on the market. And if you look at everything, the fender wells, all gorgeous, painted beautifully. The back fender wall here, that was painted also when the exterior of the cab was done. A lot of work to do that kind of detail, to remove everything and paint that back wall up beautifully like that is a lot of work. Engine's absolutely gorgeous. And it's got the chrome dress up package with the uh, uh, chrome air cleaner, the chrome uh, cover for the, um, for the radiator, and of course the chrome grill. Um, and everything's painted to perfection underneath here and everything works beautifully. So it's just a fantastic small block, no electronics. You wanna change your, 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 your spark plugs, they're right here. It's a super easy engine to work on. Not like the new ones where you, you can't even tell where, you know, where the spark plugs are on them. Brand new cowl induction hood. Everything's in fantastic condition. The, uh, um, the uh, windshield wipers are brand new. And then of course, as I said before, the bed, uh, this is a brand new eight and a half foot wide by 11 foot long uh, flatbed, uh, custom built by our staff here at, at, at the Ringling Motorcycle Museum. Um, and it was overbuilt with this super fit, heavy duty 15,000 uh, pound uh, tow hooks on the side. You could actually lift up the whole truck from these four tow hooks. It's got a brand new gas tank um, uh, um, cap and, and uh, the, the, the tube that goes to the tank and it's set up to haul four motorcycles on the deck. This was a lot of work to figure this out. Each one of these wheel kits, I think it's about $100 each. Uh, and then as far as the labor goes to mount these, it's, it's, a, it's a whole afternoon to do this. You had to drill all these holes in here, line all these up perfectly, and there's four of them on here. And they're removable. If you want to take them off, you just remove this one screw right here and they slide right out. So you can haul four motorcycles on here. And these are, these are powder coated. Uh, E-Track hooks, there's four of them on the front and two on the side, so you can do three bikes forward, one sideways on the back. Um, the lighting package on the back of the truck is all custom, you won't find another truck like it. It's all LED um, and it's all brand new and everything works beautifully. It's got a super heavy duty 15,000 pound rear hitch. Um, we, we tow, we've towed everything up to an eight wheeler trailer, uh, a uh, construction trailer that you'll see on one of our videos on the Kaplan Cycles YouTube channel also. Looking at the bottom side of the truck, this is some, uh, you see it has custom mud flaps, Kaplan Cycles mud flaps, Eagle alloy rims. The uh, brakes are all brand new all the way around. All the brake lines are brand new. And look at the bottom side of this bed here. It's absolutely spotless, in perfect condition, not a speck of rust anywhere on it. The whole undercarriage here was soda bicarbonate sodium blasted and sand blasted with the bed off. So the frame was completely cleaned and then the three step POR 15 uh, base coat and two top coat process was done. The paint on the top of the deck is a UV resistant. It's the same exact paint that was put on the cab of the truck. It's very high quality. This is a $500 a, a gallon solution. It's, it's a, a PPG, very high end paint. Um, this isn't cheap paint that was put on the, on the, the, the stuff we use on the undercarriage is $150 a gallon, the POR 15. And then we got PPG. Um, on the on the top, which is the same as on the cab, so it'll never fade. The whole undercarriage of the truck is in absolutely spotless condition. Uh, no rust through anywhere. 
on the on the uh, uh, cab corners or, or anywhere. It's a rust-free truck. Okay, so this was driven by a, a, a site and project manager. It's been stored indoors um, and, and babied. So it's an absolutely gorgeous truck. The um, small block runs beautifully, and uh, everything's 100% on the truck. Um, stainless steel ring guards on this side. Uh, it's got the headache rack on, custom dim diamond tread plate sides, and it's got the LED lights on the side also, which is a nice upgrade. So there you have it. You know, the whole truck has been completely rebuilt top to bottom. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, did you go over anything with the stereo? We didn't know. It's got a show quality stereo on the truck. It's got a $3,000 custom system. It, it's a, it's a uh, uh, competition quality system with a uh, starting with the uh, Kenwood Bluetooth uh, headset. Um, it has a subwoofer custom built behind the seat and it's got four speakers, uh, two in the door here and two up behind your head. And it is absolutely insane. It just completely cranks. It's really, really crisp, clear. The stereo in this blows away the stereo that was in our brand new $70,000 Dually. The factory Dually top of the line system that came in the new Ram frankly sucked compared to this one here. This thing is just incredible. Um, and the interior is in beautiful condition. Dash is really nice. Um, it's all original. The interior, the dash is original. The headliner is original. Um, there's one little crack in the dash right here. And you know, the headliner is not completely perfect, but it's, it's, uh, you know, it's the original 22 year old headliner and it looks great. So we left it alone. The seat is adjustable, um, forwards and backwards, obviously. Uh, I'm six foot two. So I like it in the back setting and there's plenty of room. Super nice and comfortable on the highway. It cruise all day long at 65, 75 miles an hour. It's got the cup holder. Um, the, the heat works beautifully. It has a, uh, this is like a $300 Takancha uh, custom brake controller for the, for the trailer brakes. Custom, uh, these are custom ordered, uh, I forget where we ordered them from, but they're brand new, uh, never been used in the truck. We just took them out of the box, GMC floor mats. And of course you got the rubber ones underneath there. So um, that pretty much sum summarizes the interior is in, in, in beautiful shape, the exterior is in beautiful shape. Uh, you know, if you buy a truck like this, you're going to save a lot of money on, on insurance and you're going to save a lot of money on property taxes. You're going to tax it like a 95. And the other thing too is the truck's not going to go down in value. It's only going to go up because it's a classic. It's a 1995. It's over 20 years old. Um, very, very desirable body style. Arguably one of the nicest Chevrolet GMC body styles ever made. Um, it's got the custom 5.7 liter Vortec graphics on the hood. Uh, everybody who's seen the truck, we've got a bunch of local business owners that have been drooling on the truck uh, that are probably going to be bidding on it. We're putting it up for bid and uh, whoever gets, you know, high bid gets it. So like I said, we've got over $20,000 tied up into the restoration uh, and, and all the work and parts we put into this truck. Brand new uh, wheels and tires and brakes and shocks. It's got Rancho shocks on it, battery. Um, paint job, dually bed, all nine yards. Let me show you the, some of the paperwork I've got for the truck here. We'll come over to the bed right here. This is the um, title right here. Uh, the title to the truck. And I've got, um, let's see, three, three grand under the stereo, about 4,000 under the flat bed, uh, over $2,000 under the nose and the front end. Uh, and here's our receipts from Rossi Brothers, the body shop that did the uh, paint job on it. It was uh, 3,700 plus 2,900 uh, for the bodywork and paint. So it was 3,700, $6,600 for the paint job. Um, we, we, we don't have a paint shop here, so we outsourced the, the custom two-tone paint job and the painting of the, of the bed and, and uh, the undercarriage. So that was all done off-site in the installation of the custom hood and everything else. So. Um, uh, that include, included the Weston Nerf bars, uh, the Rancho shocks front and rear, and the chrome valve covers also. We had that done there too. And also include the lettering and two-tone stripe. It was $500 for the lettering and the pinstriping on the truck also. But the total was $7,047. Um, so, yeah, this shows you um, a couple pages of the parts list right here. Uh, stuff that we had... Uh, ordered for the truck so um, <coughs> and I got all kinds of receipts for it here um, all kinds of receipts from Napa and uh, rockauto.com um, stereo receipts and 
parts and accessories and on and on and on and on. So um, we've got the title in hand and the receipts for a lot of the work that was done. Uh, again, these, these wheel chocks right here are over $100 each, so you got about $400 tied up in wheel chocks plus you know, a full day's labor to, to, to mount all these. And if you had to pay a shop to do that at 80 bucks an hour, it adds up. So th there's no way you could build this truck for less than 20 grand. Uh, how do I know that? Well, that's what well, we, we've got considerably more than that into it. The reserve is set below what we've got invested into it. And hopefully someone will see the value of this awesome classic GMC one ton and uh, want a machine with a kick-ass stereo that can haul anything. Um, and uh, super durable. It's stone reliable. These little uh, small block Chevys are pretty much bulletproof, and this is a low mile truck. So, hopefully, it'll go to a good home. Uh, if you have any questions about the truck, give us a call 860 454 7024. Hopefully, you'll see from the video and the pictures the beauty of this truck. It is extremely rare, custom um, 95 flatbed dual. You won't find another one like it anywhere, I promise you. So, good luck bidding on it. God bless.